Echo Bobo. Dude, the stream just effed right away. I gotta check out of you. Ruin Thanksgiving? Um, story time! <laughs> I'm farming! But it's a real story. Thanksgiving stream, the tier list stream, we were in sub only chat. I felt so bad. I didn't realize till I ended. So I was like, what? What are you chippers? It's because I did sub only. Oopsie! I'm muted so nobody could hear me sneeze. Say thank you. Shouldn't we say bless you? No, say thank you that you didn't have to hear me sneeze. Stories always default to front facing. <laughs> My god. Let's just say I look really cute. Came on. No joke. use the Christmas emotes. change the pin message. Is this the end of the month? There you go. I got a farm. It's calm. Yo. Good morning. I gotta move. Why is my chair so short? Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you, Cool Bobo, for chatting and they're just starting soon. Screen hello. Let me fix my chair. 
I'm too short. There we go. Now I'm tall. So, wait, now I'm too tall. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so today we're gonna do some classic Mario Kart. Story times. Yes, I did ruin Thanksgiving. The title is not clickbait. Guys, watch till the end. <laughs> to see how I ruined Thanksgiving. Um. Because <laughs> we're doing Mario Kart today because tomorrow I will be doing a Playing With Viewers Mario Kart stream. Open to everybody, not just subscribers. Tomorrow's stream will be, if you get last place, you get banned. So we're doing that stream tomorrow at like, probably noon or 1-ish PST. I... Let me fix my pin message. I spelled ish wrong. So look forward to that tomorrow, guys. I posted it on Twitter the other day, but I definitely want to try and do more like... I want to do like one weekly just chatting or YouTube video-esque stream. Can I clear the chat? There we go. I don't want to see that hullabub on screen. So I want to do one like... Just chatting or one gaming stream that can be edited to like YouTube video every week. That way I have a, that way I have enough stuff to edit. Because I'm running out of streams to edit. <laughs> so yeah. That's t today we're doing story times, classic Mario Kart stream. Um I have to do something at like two today, so I can only stream like two hours today, Sag. Um just to remind everybody. We only have one more month of November. So if you want a chance to get a portrait sketch card drawn on stream, all you must do is get five subs by tomorrow. And then also, if you want a chance to get top clipper of the month, you only have two more days left to make clips for the month of November. If you get the most and best clips, you get VIP and a Twitch gift card. Let's go. What else? What else? Hmm. I think that's it. Oh, we beat Detective Pikachu on Monday, so I'm gonna be able to return it and then get Super Mario RPG. I might play it on stream. I think what I'll do for that game, I don't know if it'll be good like normal stream content, so I just might play like the first few hours like as a normal stream, and then just beat the game in sub-only chat. Or sub-only streams. Because I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like a good commentary game, even though there's like a lot of dialogue. So, I don't know, I'll see what I want to do with that game once I get it. What else? I think that's it. Who wants to play Mario Kart Type 1? <laughs> Wait, no, we're gonna play tomorrow. I'll play today. Imagine doing 50cc. <laughs> Here we go. Also, I got a comment saying that I should play as the Yoshi bike. Are the specs actually better? Let me see. Did somebody said the specs are like slightly better with this bike. Wait. Wait. Oh, wrong clip. <laughs> They're literally the same. Right? Yeah, it's, it's literally the same. They lied. Now me getting skamazed again. No, but honestly, I think green is easier to see on the tracks. Okay, let's get started. How could someone lie to you? I know. Or maybe I'm just doing the wrong bike. Could be that too. Wait, this is technically a bike, right? Wait, let's compare. Oh shit. Wait, is traction good or bad? I don't know what half of these stats mean. Oh, the, okay, like, I'll try this little scooter. I'll try it. For the fans. Actually changing my build for once. Of course, we're gonna do the new final DLC. Practicing. 
I haven't played these since the last time we did Mario Kart. Not the Grandma Scooter? Shut up. You know, I like to go at life at my own pace. Wait, this one looks stupid. I was pressing B, not A. Also, I'm using my Joy-Cons because my sister is playing Fall Guys downstairs. She won't let me use her Pro Controller. Okay, this seems like it's really fast. <laughs> she said, oopsie. Oh my god, this is like way too fast. This is insane! Wait, I don't like this. It's way too fast. Oh wait, you know what it could be? I don't think... I don't think it's an inside drift bike. I don't know how to- I'm switching, I don't care. VOD watchers just skip to like 15 minutes in. That's why I couldn't handle it. I don't know how to use that bike. I don't know how to use a normal bike. Here we go. I got a comment on Instagram this morning and they were saying, I also got a few comments like this on TikTok a while ago too. They were like, do you only play Mario Kart and Animal Crossing? <laughs> and it's like, no, I don't even play Animal Crossing on stream anymore. It's just, I have so many streams to edit. Oh, now this is where it's at. This nearly ain't as fast. This is still super fast. I should do 150 cc, huh? I always like so surprised whenever there's like a shell that hits me. Not like I've been playing Marker for years. How do you even still have Animal Crossing clips? I think the most recent Animal Crossing stream that I've been editing is from September 2022. So literally a year ago. It's because during like, Mario Kart and Animal Crossing, those are the streams that I like talk the most and do like more commentary based or like story time stuff. So I just have more like clippable talking points for propaganda. Oh my god! Because I don't necessarily want my the my clips content to be like just epic gamer moments. Because if you just post like gaming clips, oh they got sniped, that are just like purely like gaming, then you're gonna get a gamer audience, and I don't want little scrubs watching me. I don't want sweats. I want nice people. That point if you're nice. Because since all of my clips are, like, me talking about my interests, my, like, morality, I have a live audience that thinks similar- similarly to the way I do, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you could get enough gamer moments. Exactly! That's another reason why. You know, I always say, guys, clip if I get first, clip, clip, and there's, like, not many first place clips. <laughs> But also, I'm just like learning. I'm rusty. My rank is only 7,000 in Mario Kart. And it goes down by 50 every time I play.
I was feeling like the asshole. Oh, that's one. I've decided I'm not necessarily gonna not curse during my streams. I'm only gonna curse if it's like part of a phrase. Like, I'm not gonna explain like the F word and stuff as much. I'm gonna try my best not to. Because, like, intentionally censoring myself with other words just feels, like, so unnatural. Like, I'd rather just say it, but then also try to minimize how often I say it, I guess. Because I think cursing is funny. It's fun. Back in, like, middle school, I used to hate cursing. But now as an adult, I just want to have a little bit of fun with my life. I like to live on the edge and not leave my home and just curse at a computer game. I was jumping because the banana feels not because the lightning. <laughs> okay, that was cool. This track seems so long. I don't remember it being nearly this long on, like, the Wii. on stream because it's funny or I think it's funny but then when I'm playing offline I jump I make the same expressions I'll put my forehead on my head it's so bad my sister makes fun of me like she's a bully easy wait how I don't know if I've gotten a three star trophy on this pre yet Stream ends when I get three stars. Change the title. I know for tomorrow's stream, it's gonna be if you get last, you get banned. But what if it's if you get first, you get banned? What time is it in PST right now? It is 11.51 PST. Welcome in, Toast. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Yeah, because tomorrow's stream will probably be in, like, the midday for me because I have a phone call in the morning. Oh, my God. I don't like going on the boost there. They're too scary. Guys, when we- <laughs> When we hit a million subs, I'll tell the story on how I ruined Thanksgiving. Can we do it? Oh, why'd they put a banana right by the cone? Dream where I intentionally mute myself. <laughs> I might do it for April Fools. I said this idea last year too. But it's like I just play normally, but I'm muted, and then I have to pretend that I'm not muted. So I just have to like ignore it in the chat the whole day. I think it'd be funny, but then it would also like not be good content. <laughs> Like, I would not be able to re-upload that at all. It would just be like a good bit. But can I commit to that bit for like three hours? I wonder. Wait, Dodge! No way.
There goes my trophy. Hmm. Fine, I'll tell the story. For the fans. <laughs> I have to think about how I'm gonna tell it. Because <laughs> I didn't take any pictures of what happened, so I, you just have to listen to my words. So this year we did a Friendsgiving where it was just me, my sister, my roommate, and then like one of the friends. So like very small. And we did it like the day after the holiday. What? Go left! <laughs> Always stay far right, guys. Anyway. So, everybody chose a side. We didn't do turkey because turkey is too much. And I've never made a turkey before and it would have come out bad. So, we had on the menu mashed potatoes, stuffing, corn, Brussels sprouts, and then like this red jello pudding. So, five things. So, my success rate should have been 100 because I've cooked before. But I messed up on the mashed potatoes. We didn't have a potato masher, so I was thinking to myself, oh, we could just put the potatoes in the blender. Now, if anybody's made bread before, you know if you knead your dough too much, it activates the gluten, and then you get a really hard dough. So a simple thing will happen with potatoes if you agitate the starch too much. It essentially will turn to goop. So my friend, they were, they were assigned the mashed potatoes. So they put all the cream, the butter, and the blender along with some of the potatoes that we boiled. And after like a minute, like the blender broke. Cause whenever, when they put the potatoes in, it like fried the motor cause it was way too thick. And we took it out of the blender and examined it. It was literally slime and it tasted like glue. <laughs> it was so bad. And it broke our blender, right? But like, I wasn't upset in the moment because it was just so funny. <laughs> and we were like, okay, how could you fix this? So we tried adding more like liquid. We tried adding like fake potato flakes and it didn't work. It was just slime. So I, I ruined our friends giving this year. So guys, do not make potatoes in the blender. Otherwise, it was really good. The stuffing came out really good. My jello came out fantastic. It had pineapples in it, ladies. <laughs> I wish I took pictures of the potatoes. I wish I did. But I was like, I was too busy living in the moment, like enjoying it. Well, I got two stars, didn't I? Oh, I still got gold, but not three stars. One star! I blame the Joy-Cons. Dude, my sugar mama just bought me these. They can't be broken already. What else happened on Thanksgiving? That was basically it. It was pretty chill. It was gonna be just me and my sister going out to eat on Thanksgiving, but our roommate decided to go with us, so he was able to drive us to the place we went to the buffet. Because just the way their work schedule was for Thursday and Friday, they couldn't go out to like Thanksgiving dinner with their family, so that kind of sucked for them. But we all went to a buffet, and I ate a lot of food. I don't know this track at all. Dodge. <laughs> that was a mistake. Also tomorrow I have my my social security interview. So, I'm very nervous. 
It's just like an hour phone call with a worker, so it's not like they're like interrogating me. But I'm still really nervous. Cause like I, I have all my documents prepared and everything. Because you need like medical records and shit. Stuff! Dang it! See, I'll, I want to avoid saying curse words just casually like that. It's like unnecessary. Anyway, so like I have everything ready, but I'm still like really nervous. Because I'm worried that if I, I like I will say the wrong thing. Or like if I'm like Okay, when I talk to people on the phone, I like I try to riz, I try to be charming. Cause like I don't like just being like all like neutral, I guess on the phone. Cause just in general, like it's very disassociating. Cool, I did that on purpose. To like talk to people on the phone in my opinion. Cause you can't like see how they're what they're like feeling. So I try to sound like extra happy when I'm on the phone. Mistake. Football! Oh, they're so bad. So I need to like not be too like and I, I have to not riz tomorrow. I think Spiny Cup is definitely one of the more difficult pre's in the whole game. Come on! Hi Mint, welcome in. Can we get some goats? Hello! Dude, I hate this drag. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! So yesterday we went to Walmart because we had to grab a few things, and I was really annoyed at my sister. She could probably hear me in the other room. I was really annoyed at her. Anyway, so I was also really anxious, and we went to the shop just to get like water and then like de icing pellets for the sidewalks. So I was really anxious. I was like, hey sister, favorite, hey favorite sister. <laughs> Can you go ask the worker, like, where the ice pellets are? Because we walked through, like, all the sections and we couldn't find it. So, she was like, really? And I was like, yes, I don't want to. I'm anxious. And she's like, okay, sure. So she finds a worker, like, in, like, further in the aisle. And she's like, hey, um, my sister has a question for you. <laughs> Which is, like, so weird to say. Like, why would you say that? That, like, things like this worker was, like, really nice. She was, like, an older woman. She was really nice because like not to judge but like so many service workers are like really shitty which is fine like i would hate working a bad job too but thankfully this lady was really nice <laughs> so she's like oh i know where it is let me look it up for you and like she and i had like a nice little conversation she's like oh yeah i'm from alaska and i was like oh so you must know how to drive in the snow right and she's like oh not really so i was you know i was risen i was using my charm but I remember after we found the pellets, I was side-eyeing my sister so much. I was like, why didn't you say that to the worker? I was like, why couldn't you just ask her for me? And she's like, I forgot what you wanted, smile. So annoying. The riz? Yeah. You gotta riz the workers, because then they might be really nice or give you free things. Okay, pro tip. If you guys ever go to like a food service place, be excessively nice to the workers okay be really nice so that way they don't spin your food or they just give you free things no narcs but when i worked at the sandwich place there was like a starbucks hashtag we hate starbucks down the road and i was really nice to some of the girls who worked there and i would try to go in like the morning and then sometimes i'd go in like the afternoon when i'd leave work and they would write like little notes in my cups or since I would go in the evening, they would give me like a few cake pops because they would have to toss them anyway. So, you know, rinse everybody. Oh my God, I lived. I'm cracked. 
I definitely think this is like the most fun track out of the most recent DLC. Nice try. I always try to be nice to service workers because, you know, it's just like the right thing to do. But I have a big problem with like mumbling and not speaking up. I've always struggled with that like forever. So like half the time I'll like try to say something nice or witty and then they just don't hear me. <laughs> And it's always, like, just ten times more awkward. Because then I have to repeat my little joke. Or my compliment. And it just seems pointless. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I'm trying to, like... I always try to go for that diagonal. It's probably not the best way to do it. I'm always nice even if there's bad service. I honestly think that's the way to go too. Because if I see somebody in public who's in a bad mood, like a service worker or whatever, like I've been there, I get it. So it's like me being like rude or mean back is not gonna like make their day better. And I don't wanna do anything that makes somebody's day worse. You know what I mean? Because I believe in karma, so if I do something bad, something bad will happen to me. But if I'm only good, then only good things will happen. Right? You always gotta see it from their perspective? Exactly! Mm-hmm. I do wish more people thought that way. Because, like, I, I understand that, like, it is kind of hard to be, like, nice all the time, because that's kind of, like... It takes a lot of energy to have that, I guess, maturity and composure. But you should still try your best. Because you never know what, uh, what other people are going through. And I, I wish I would have thought that way when I was younger. Because, okay, I wasn't, like, mean when I was in, like, middle school or high school. But I was very, like, definitely, like, apathetic to certain things. Or I, I probably was, like, a bit more blunt than I should have been. But, you know, that comes with age. You get mature, you get more mature as you need meet more people, see more things, go through life. But yeah, obviously there are things that are, like, unforgivable. Like, I hate when people, like, do something bad, like, a crime to another person, and they're like, oh, I was just, like, 16, and it's like, no, you should have known to do not that thing you did. Oh, there was a banana! <laughs> Also, guys, we are 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and, and you get to see more epic, epic gaming moments like that. And you also get to type in chat. Guys, can we hit our goal? I'm going for the half pipes. I don't care. I was trying to stop the blue show. Oh my god. This track doesn't feel as bad at 200cc. It's actually really fun. It's just gonna take me a while to remember everything. Oh, am I still in second? Easy. Path is the best. I used to do that in high school, hoping, hoping that people would think I'm cool, but then they just used me. I feel that a little bit. Just don't like hold it against yourself. Like as long as you know that you did the right thing back then, then they were the they were the ones being assholes. 
and as long as you've like matured and know not to let yourself be exploded, then you've learned something from that experience. Like, my personal rule is, like, if somebody, like, mistreats me or uses me for, like, anything, <laughs> they don't get a second chance. You know, I don't mess around anymore. Like, if somebody's being a jerk, I don't need you in my life. Stars? Let's do online. I'm skipping. I just mature faster than everyone else, so they didn't realize or they didn't relate when I didn't want to do crazy stuff. Dude, I didn't do anything when I was in high school. Like, I didn't ditch, I didn't do drugs, I didn't drink, I didn't do anything bad. Because I was. Not because, like, I was scared of getting punished, but I was just like, I don't want to do that. It just doesn't- it didn't seem fun. Wait, I'm, I'm at 7,500? Wait. Maybe I'm good. You guys had a Mario Kart team in high school? Here we go. Okay, I graduated in 2017. And... <laughs> okay. I remember, like, my senior year, because I my friends were, like, really into Magic the Gathering. So they made a club in senior year, and it was just a bunch of nerds, and they were, like, the crustiest people imaginable. I, I wonder if there's ever gonna be, like, pro, like, esports leagues in, like, high schools and stuff. Because, like, the prime age to get into esports is when you're younger, because that's when literally you're, um... Your what you call it? Your reflexes and like your mobility is like peak. You graduated last year? Cool. Congrats. Well, I guess that's like fairly recent. No way we would have had a Mario Kart team like six years ago. Frick. <laughs> I'm old. No, I'm not that old. I'm only 24. I joined the club just to beat the crusty nerds. Honestly, Giga Chad. I love that for you. <laughs> I can't. See, I would join the Mario Kart Club and then just never lose. Oh wait, no, I would always lose. It would be like, haha, woman bad at game. Classic. Wait, this guy's third. Wait, they're cracked. It'd be cool if in this spectating view, we could actually see the map. Like, these drone shots are cool. No way. Mario Kart. Thank you for the gift of some, Keelan. Can we get some Wheelins to mint? You're too kind. Mint, you better praise Keelan forever now. But thank you, Keelan. First gifted of the month. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Mint. You're now at Sunflower Badge Enchant. Have you been following for that long? Wow, you've been following since April 22. What? Did you own? I think you only recently started chatting, huh? What? That's why. I got out of school early to he. Hi, <laughs> Hacker. Can we get some yo's? Thank you for the resub. Thank you, Hacker. Why'd you get out of school early? Did you ditch? Oh, I got a pick. But thank you, Keelan. Thank you, Hacker. Also, guys, if we get one more subscription, gifted or prime or tier one or bits right now, we'll get a hype train. Yeah. 
Oh, a doctor's appointment? Um, I hope it goes well. You should- <laughs> Hacker, you should- You should watch on your phone, like just max volume in the lobby. That way I can get clout. All the little grandmas in the lobby will hear my stream. I'll, I'll just keep saying jello, that way they get excited. <clears throat> okay, first race of the day. Do you guys think I'll get first? We'll do predictions after this race. Okay, I'm holding this drift way too long. <laughs> I'm really trying to manifest Miitopia on the next console. I really wanted to play Miitopia. I think there's like similar games on the Switch right now, but it's never gonna be as good. I never had the game myself, but I remember, I think my friend would bring his DS to school and play it. It was on the DS, right? I don't know. <laughs> You know, I'm a poser, I'm a frog. Wait, I'm in fourth? Hold. Hold. Ain't no way! Thank you for the gift and sub, Kobobo, thank you. Did we- Oh my god, I'm in third place! Holy shit! Hold! Everybody hold, imagine I get first on my first race. Thank you, Kobobo! Oh, hype train started! Well, why did why did see him? Why did say that aloud? That's weird. Guys. Wait, hold! Everybody shut the fuck up. Second place, blue shell. <gasps> oh, they have a banana. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. They're gonna lose their protection. They're gonna freak out. Wait, they have a <gasps> Okay, I'm throwing. I'm not getting the double item boxes. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was throwing. <laughs> guys, second place. I'm cracked. Let's do a prediction. But first, guys, thank you for the gift of sub Koboba to Orbit. Hopefully they'll use it. If you don't know what Hype Train is, if you subscribe, cheer bits. There is also a function, if you cheer a certain amount of bits in my chat, you can pin the message that you put in the cheer to the top of the chat. Ain't that funny? I'm in the lobby? No, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> you can, if you participate in the hype train, if you subscribe, cheer bits, etc., you can get a chance to earn Twitch-exclusive emotes. Wow. But thank you, guys. Getting a red shell scare in second is worse. Yeah, I'm just losing my mind. Okay. I think stream ends when I get first. Change the title. Oh, talking about getting in my lobby. Tomorrow I will be doing a playing with viewers stream for everybody. Tomorrow. Probably at like noon or 1ish PST. The stream will be if you get last, you get banned. Including myself. Oh, I'm so bad at this track. Okay, prediction is up. Do you think I will get a first at all today? Go Gamba. I'm gonna stream for like an hour-ish. I'm already in second. Everybody go gamble your channel points. I almost said your life savings. Which would be very bad. I was gonna say PK loser. That they're probably like a, they're probably on like an not an org, but like a team. And I got really scared when I saw their user last race. That's all I'll say. I felt intimidated. I always joke. <laughs> I looked away from the screen. 
I always joke about like, should I go pro? Should I go pro? I don't look. I legitimately don't think I can ever like grind Mario Kart. You know, I like to have fun when I play my games, and if I started like actually practicing, it would not be fun. And it's totally not because I'd be really bad. You know what my role would be? I would be the person who stays in the back and gets like bullet bills and lightning bolts the whole time. That would. That would be my job. Really. Hi, Angie. Welcome in. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's two. Can we get some yo's? Hello. How was my Thanksgiving? I ruined it. <laughs> Read the title. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How? I made mashed potatoes in the blender. And they came out really goopy. Otherwise, Thanksgiving was good. I'm in last place. You hey, watch this, the peace and skip. Wait, Tsukishima? That's from Hayaku. The blender? Oh my god, yes. 20 seconds left in that high train, guys. If you want an emote, cheer bits right now. So good at what I do. I'm so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it became like literal potato slime. Why did you make it in the blender? You know, I lived life on the edge and we didn't have a potato masher. And I read online that you could do it, but you have to be careful to not over blend the potatoes. You made pu potato puree? Yes, I did. And I, I legitimately tried to eat it, and... I mean, look at me, you know, I will eat most anything. Jokes. Anyway. But like, I literally could not eat the paste. I could not do it. I instantly spat it out. It was so bad. She wanted to make a potato smoothie, but she forgot the smoothie part. But now I literally can't make smoothies anymore because we broke our blender. My friend, technically my friend broke it, but I told them to use the blender. They said they would buy me a new blender in like two weeks when they get paid. So plus one blender, everybody. Also, thank you for the hype train. We got three gifted subs. Thank you. You guys will all get your names written in chat. Did anybody get any new emotes? Was it a nice blender? No, it was not. It was... I don't think you guys have seen it on stream. It was like a blender processor combo. So it wasn't a very high-powered blender anyway. We got it on sale for um, Black Friday last year. So it lasted us a year. I rarely use the blender, though. Because I don't necessarily like the texture of, like, processed stuff. I only really used it for, like, dips. <laughs> Gotta get a potato masher? I literally saw so many at the store. They put them- Oh my god, first flippers! They put them in like the front of the grocery section because everybody needs a potato masher. But I just refused to buy them. Because I was like, you know, why spend a dollar when I have a blender? Watch this. Okay, that was so bad. Watch this. You thought you were safe? <laughs> Wait. First place, Clippers! Clippers! Okay, we both have bananas. It's the same guy! Neck and neck. Stay away from me. Oh my god. Get him out of the way. Yeah, first still has protection. Really the worst item. Okay, I'm trying to win for the believers. <laughs> Ain't no way. Dude, thank god I went for that path.
guys. <laughs> yes, the character is Pauline. Ain't she cute? Holy moly, Pauline. Dude, I went from second to fucking seventh. Hi, Sinisters. Can we get some yo's? Yeah, new YouTube video. Go watch it. If we get Rainbow Road, I literally will win. No joke. It said you missed the hype train? Really? Or maybe, Keelan, if you have the emote already, sometimes it, it'll say that message, I've noticed. So guys, am I the asshole for ruining Thanksgiving? Type 1. you trying to do something you know what i bought all the groceries i found all the recipes i printed them out in large 18 point font to make them easier to read i was expecting you guys to all type one <laughs> you guys are too nice you guys are too kind i'm gonna miss these days everybody's gonna become like such jerks when i get famous which will never happen unless okay watch this Oh my god, I never go for that skill. I actually did it. If you have mac and cheese or stuffing, then you're good. I didn't make mac and cheese because I made mac and cheese like earlier in the week. And hashtag not sponsored, but it was the Bon Appetit best mac and cheese recipe. And it was pretty good, but it was very like an adult mac and cheese. Because it had like Fontana, Guerre, and then one more, like very adult cheeses. So it was very like nutty and fermenty. -y. So I don't think like a little five year old would like it, but I liked it. It was good. Really? Pizza will be famous in five seconds? Really? It's fancy, but it sounds good. It was really good. Like, I personally really liked it, but it had like, almost two whole sticks of butter in it. Because you have to make a bechamel, which is like a butter and cream based base sauce. Butter and cream based base sauce. Anyway, so like it was, it was really fatty. But it was really good. Okay, watch this. You know what? I'm lucky. I'm half Asian, so I'm only like half allergic to lactose. Like, usually if I have cheese or things that have dairy in it, I'm fine, but like, if I drink straight up milk, it's not good for me. Okay, sixth place, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> as long as you don't ruin the turkey or the protein, you didn't ruin Thanksgiving. That's why, like, I don't think I'd ever genuinely try to make a turkey for Thanksgiving. It's too much pressure. And, guys... Turkey is not good, no matter what people try to tell you. It's not good. A good tip I heard is instead of baking the turkey whole, you cut it up into pieces. That way you get a more even bake. A good honey-baked ham is better. My mom did like Thanksgiving turkey for like the first five years of my life. And then she started doing hams. But then she would also do a ham for Christmas. So it didn't like feel as special as a turkey. Thanksgiving sounds stressful. We'll talk about that in a second. My foot's asleep. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I'm so tired. Did you- Shut up, Kobobo! <laughs> Stop! Parasocial Andy? Months. Anyway, Thanksgiving sounds stressful. 
I think it's only stressful for the people who have to actually cook, or if you just hate your family. Because if you have to cook, then yeah, you have to like spend like hours and hours in the kitchen. And like, okay, honestly, I think planning and prepping is not as fun as actually cooking. Because for this year's Friendsgiving, I've never like cooked for Thanksgiving on my own, but I think I could do it. Like, I just imagined in my head, oh, I'm a restaurant chef right now and I have a full lobby right now. Like, I just pretended to be a little chef for four hours and I cranked everything out. But if I had to cook for like a whole big family, I would probably lose my mind. It really, I messed up that turn. But like, if you're like, you know, the classic husband, sit on your ass all day, don't do shit. Then yeah, Thanksgiving is great. I do- okay, controversial. I think everybody should make one part of Thanksgiving dinner. People will typically do potlucks, but if you're gonna bake everything in one house, have everybody make one thing. Or another good strat is if you have things that are in like a tray that can be prepped like a day ahead, like do that. That way it's ready to go in the oven. The first time you made turkey for yourself, it came out pretty good. That's great! Good for you! Like, genuinely good for you. I bet if I made turkey, I would mess it up. It's because, like, I'm scared of ovens. I don't like ovens. I got burned when I was a child, and I've just been, like, traumatized ever since. And also, like, just, like, the wave of heat that comes out. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm good. I, I don't like the oven. Give me some! Okay, wait, hold. No! I don't think there was any way I could have saved that. Damn. You know what, like, victory is like this close, and then they just take it away from me. You know what else I'm gonna take away? Some of you guys' freedoms, because guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. I'm sorry, I have to do it. If you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. 7 out of 10? Thank you. That's still passing. Also, it's like weird seeing myself in 30 frames per second. Anytime I do Mario Kart, I have to lower the frame rate. It looks like I'm lagging, but I'm not. Like, in my OBS preview, it looks weird. <clears throat> If it's Yoshi's Island, I literally will win. London is like one of the worst maps. I know, you know why? It's because all the buildings are so tall, you can't see what turns are coming. Like it's a cute level. But it's so difficult. And I think also, because the buildings are kind of like this orangey red, the red arrows that tell you which way to go blend into the environment. It's so bad. I know everybody hates on the Mario Kart Tour levels, but I think this is one of the worst ones for sure. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Oh my god, I got two people! Wait, is this the London level? Wait, <laughs> are we talking about the same one? There's also too many areas where you just go straight- yeah, I agree. Oh, this is London, I see the telephone boxes. Some people were complaining 
when the final tracks and characters were released for the DLC, they were like, why can't they just do more? Give us more characters that were in previous games. And, okay, I'm not a Nintendo sim, but honestly, I'm just happy we got something. We didn't get Mario Kart 9, but we got a bunch of new tracks, a handful of characters. You know, I'll take what I can get. I'm not greedy. I think it's one of those scenarios where, like, you can never make everyone happy. So you have to be happy with what you can get. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That's what my mother always told me, and now I'm a pushover. <laughs> I just think we could have gotten Toad Factory. Don't remind me. Genuinely, don't remind me. Wait, watch this. No! Oh my god, oh my god! Wait, hold, hold! Oh, I thought it was over. Frick. Keep holding. No! Oh, come on! God damn it. Asshole. Dude. Do you think we'll get Mario Kart 9 on the next console? Definitely. For sure. Obviously. Surely? Unless... Okay, does anybody have uncles who work at Nintendo who will gladly leak? Sunshine Airport, I literally will win. Do I still make a Christmas list? No, because I'm not a child. <laughs> and okay, as an adult... Who had money... Not anymore! Okay. As an adult, like, when you have your your own money for the first time, you can just buy whatever you want whenever you want it, you know? Like, I remember buying, or like, spending my first ever paycheck. Like, I went to the mall and I bought a shirt that I wanted for a while, and it felt like really good. You know what I do miss though? I miss when like, like, Toys R Us would send like, the toy, like, catalog every year. I don't know if they still do that. Every day is Christmas? Exactly! Shirt reveal? Dude, that was back when I was in high school. I don't think I have it anymore. I think I grew out of it. Cause like, I'm- I grew to 5'2 in, like, middle school, and I haven't grown since. But, you know, I've just grown wider. Anyway, Mario Kart! Okay, guys, real question. If I were to do another stream with Emmy Beef at Emmy Beef on Twitch, what do you want us to see us do together? Like, game-wise. Because she and I are going to talk about it soon. So what do you guys want to see? Because if it's a PC game, then it can be on her channel, because then I can just record on my laptop. And if it's a Switch game, then it can be on my channel. Because I can't stream PC games, because I don't have a dual monitor set up, it's just my laptop. Oh my god, asshole. But if it's a game that I can just record... Because in OBS, you can stream and then just like, record videos offline, too. WarioWare? No, I, I'm not playing WarioWare. There's too many sus positions. I, I I will not do WarioWare. I'm sorry. Cancel me. Player mode is so fun though. Dude, people 
people would make gifs of she and I doing them together. Ew. You know what the problem is? Like, I'm not a bad viewer, but I just think of all the things that bad people would do. They almost cut me off at the end. I was gonna say at least nobody with a lower rank than me is beating me, but someone with 3k placed above me. Mario Party for sure? Oh, definitely. Me and Emmy would play Mario Party offline together just for fun. Back when she didn't have a real job. Was mine. I really hope my Joy Cons don't break today, though. My sugar mama told me they will not buy me another pair. <laughs> stronger tracks. <laughs> I'm in the doctor's office. I'll start saying Jello. Put on a full blast now. MA are Emmy and I gonna play Mario Wonder? I think that would be a fun game to play in person together. Because the online co-op is kind of not it. I do want to do a series where I play all of Super Mario 3D World with somebody on stream. Because there's like really good online co-op for it. Okay, go. Jello, jello, jello. <laughs> Mashed peas. The War of 1812. Wait, I don't think they're that old. Yeah, she and I are gonna do in-person streams once I have money. Smile. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Third place, wait. Hold. Is gambling. It's literally gambling. Pauline looks so sad. In person collapse with Emmy would go crazy. I know. It's just she and I live a bit apart, so it would be like. Like, getting to each other would be a bit difficult. But it'll happen, I promise. Does Emmy still call you peace when you're talking offline? Yeah. I do think it's 
kind of nice how my stream name doesn't have my actual name in it. And a big reason why I did that is because I think it's kind of cringe whenever your branding has your actual name in it. And like, I understand if you made your user like years ago, but for branding reasons, it's kind of hard to create a brand that's just your name. Like you, you'd have to have a really big influence in order for that to, for you to be successful with that type of branding campaign. But I also like my user because it's fairly like gender neutral. Like it's not like my username is like Flower Sunshine Princess sixty nine. Like it doesn't sound too girly. It doesn't sound too like masculine. And I do like how my user can be shorted down to just peace from peace in. You know. 13 year old me 13 year old me was thinking back then 13 year old me knew I was gonna be famous on Twitch <laughs> unless how am I still in like the bottom three watch this Is my name Mask or Femme? Hi, Hacker? I guess yours is another neutral, but I, I know your pronouns. But yeah, it's neutral. You thought it'd be hard calling me my- by peace after knowing my real name? I mean, my friends, like online friends, know my real name, but they just didn't refer to- refer to it- refer to me as that, because it's not in my user. And also, peace is like one less syllable, so it's a bit easier to say, I guess. Hey, watch this. Okay, wait, fifth place? I'll take it. If I had- I always thought to myself, what would I call myself if I couldn't use the name Peason? And I legit couldn't think of anything else. It's because I've been using it for basically forever. And no, I don't have a secret DeviantArt page. Don't look for it. Why'd I choose the LA track? I hate that track. The demon arc goes crazy? No, it doesn't. I can't wait to work on the art stuff more, though. I promise there will be more art channel streams in December. Because I got a Christmas coloring book, so on days when I don't, like, feel like doing a main channel stream, I might just go live on the art channel and do coloring. I forgot about that channel. Me too, honestly. I haven't gone live on it in, like, six months. It's also because, like, I don't want to promote that channel until I'm, like, allowed to. Because if you are eligible for disability, you can't necessarily work a lot of hours with a traditional job, but if you have your own business, the rules are different concerning, like, how much income you can have per month. So I have to get that figured out before I can, like, start working on the art website and channel more. I'm still waiting for a peace in underscore art TikTok post. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> don't worry, surely. Wait, remember when I said I'm gonna try and do a video every week on that account? I've only done three and it's been a year. I don't know. 
Like, I have a few, like, other monologues written out. Because what I've decided with whenever I feel comfortable enough to start posting on that account again, I want every video to, like, have meaning behind it. Like, I don't want to do, like, I, okay, I genuinely do not ever want to do, like, how-to art tutorial videos because I think those are cringe and you're not going to build the right audience with that type of content because ultimately if you're trying to make art and sell it online you have to promote your product to non-artists because if you lean into the tutorial or how to do this or what supplies to buy your primary target audience will be creatives and they aren't gonna buy your products because they're making their own shit I'm stuff hey watch this oh, oh my god screw that guy so you have to like just make good things that way non-artist people will find it and then hopefully buy what you make that's another reason why i don't ever want to do like twitch tutorial type content i know there are some bigger named people who solely do like tiktok or no sorry not tiktok like twitch like tip content but similar issue if you only have people who want to learn from you they're not necessarily probably going to enjoy the other things you do. I'm a non-artist and I watch those kind of art videos. Like, you watch the tip videos? Well, you're not the primary demographic then. But then it's also kind of like, I will save videos that are like woodworking. But I know I'm never going to do woodworking. I think because also when you're working on any type of branding, you have to think about the majority of your audience and not necessarily focus on the outliers as much. Because yes, they were, they were a percentage of your audience, but they're not a substantial enough amount to justify like putting like a lot of your time or money budget wise into. It also depends on what you want to focus on. Like, do you want to focus on building an audience or like selling a product? You know, like there's a number of factors you have to consider whenever you're trying to build any type of presence, like whether it be like online or if you're trying to establish like a local business, there's a lot of things you have to consider. Like you can't just put something out there and expect people to like it. That's why like, Obviously, like, I started streaming during pandemic. Like, I started watching Twitch content in 2020 and started streaming in 21. Um, I'm obviously part of the wave of, like, people who want to try and make it during pandemic because they're bored. But a big thing or trend that I'll see is a lot of people will start to do content creation and, like, not be creative individuals. Not necessarily they aren't artsy, it's just they don't know what they want to do. And that's kind of counterintuitive in my opinion. Because if you want to do something, like with your passion, you have to know what you want to do ultimately. Like you have to do it for enjoyment, you have to do it because you want to sell a product. Like you need to figure out what your overall motive is in order to successfully pursue it. Like, you can't just click go live and expect people to watch you if you genuinely don't have a plan. Like, that's a level of entitlement that will not- you will not succeed if you keep having. <laughs> Lol, that's me. Um, um... <laughs> Sorry to subtweet you. I, I also understand the perspective of, like, people who start making things because they want to find that passion or that reason. But until you find that passion or reason, don't invest too much of your time or money into a thing. I, I think it's very similar to like the people who started like a craft and only do it for two weeks. Like you have to figure out how much of your time you want to spend. Oh my god! Because not gonna lie, streaming is a very expensive hobby. Like, you'll need to get a better internet, you'll probably need a camera, basic tech. And also, I had to get a new laptop, so that was like 2000. I'm still. 
legitimately, not to leak my income, but I haven't, like, earned back their Twitch income enough to- Fuck you! Sorry, not you guys. <laughs> I haven't earned enough for my Twitch income over the past year and almost almost two years to pay back my laptop, which was, like, 2500 So, like, I'm not streaming to make money, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um... <laughs> I stream because it's fun, and I like having an outlet to make things, and legitimately, if I didn't stream, I would be very sad, because over the past year, most of you guys know, I stopped working in, in 21, and then I was showing symptoms for my disability, like a few months after I quit my job, so like, if I didn't quit my job when I did, I would have had to quit for like medical reasons, um, so, you know, I'm just staying home, doing nothing. But streaming has, like, given me a new purpose, almost. Anyway, streaming is cool and pog and fun, but, like, don't invest the money if you don't really want to do it, I think. Coconut Mall! If I get Coconut Mall, I literally will win first place. Another reason why... Why am I like, telling people to not stream? That's like not a good look. Anyway, I'm trying to ruin the competition. You don't want to like... Because streaming in general is like a very... Invasive form of content creation in the sense of like... You are broadcasting live. So it's a lot of your time. And then also like... People will want to know about you. So you have to give up a level of your own privacy. And once you say something online, you can't necessarily take it back. So you have to be very mindful of what you say and share. Like, don't be leaking the family drama on the timeline. The person's name was Mother. <laughs> Mother. Mary Mountain is the worst track ever? Whoa, calm down. I know I have hashtag drama tag, but whoa, man. <laughs> I don't care, I don't like this track much either. I'll be honest. It, it, it is mid, but the, but the music is fun. I think this track is too simple. And also, it's not a good track for inside dreams. So I'm not really good at it. big hater of Christmas because I hate consumerism because I'm a socialist. Ew. But now that I'm like living on my own and I can choose how to decorate, choose what I want to do for holiday, it's like so much more fun because when I was little like I used to hate putting up the Christmas tree because our parents would store it in the attic and they didn't put it in a crate or anything so it's just like pieces of the tree like just scattered around the attic. So it was like not really fun to put it up. But now that we have our own space, like everything is pretty organized. Like we put up our Christmas tree, I think a week before Thanksgiving. And we have it out in the hallway. And then I'm gonna set up another one for stream in a few days. I think on Friday. But I'm like really excited to decorate it. I don't know. I think it's more of an issue of like being able to have control over the situation is why I like it a bit more now. Because I used to hate seeing all the Christmas decorations in the store, but now it's like cute. Do you decorate your tree fancy or mix and match? Um, usually mix and match. Like this year, my sister and my roommate, they've been going on trips, so they have a bunch of like ornament souvenirs, 
they have a good handful of like mini plushies on the tree in the hall. I don't like the trees that look like too. Hmm. How do I say? Like you like the type of tree you'd see in like a Target ad, where it looks too like polished. I think it's not homey. But when I was little, we would have a theme for our Christmas tree every year. So like one year it was Barbie. Before the Barbie movie. <laughs> it was Barbie, so we put like Barbies on the tree. One year we did Spongebob. So it was a bunch of like Spongebob ornaments and merch. And then as we grew older, because my, my parents, they traveled a lot when they were younger. So they have a fairly large collection of blown glass ornaments. So then that became our tree theme from like middle school and up. Oh my god, I chose mine! Am I gonna get first? I only have like an hour left with you guys. I can do it, surely. Mushroom Gorge is one of my stronger tracks. behind them now because I'm trying to get in the habit of not holding it behind me just holding it in my hand that way I don't like accidentally ram into somebody but it's so much scarier playing with other people now okay watch this stop see exactly it's so dumb like I have to be like 10 times more careful with people Mother isn't first where she should be. Slay! <laughs> I prefer to mix and match trees, it looks more homey. I agree. I think for a tree, we'd always do rainbow lights and then a different color, like tinsel or garland over here. The ornaments? The ornaments I have for my stream tree are the same as last year, but I have like gold little garlands. I have a headache. I blame it on me losing. for the gameplay type one screw you no. <laughs> Dude. wait I'm like the second lowest rank in this lobby that's why I like your commentary better, no offense. That's totally valid. That's exactly what I want. Cause, okay, imagine I became like a sweat, a Mario Kart pro, but then I didn't talk at all. It'd be so boring. It'd be such bad stream content. You know who I, th who I think is great at like prioritizing content over the gameplay? Dude, I love Squeaks' stream. I, I found his channel after he did the collab with Kitty Cinderella in January, but his streams were like so much fun. Like his banter with chat, the way like, the way he does commentary, like there's so many bits. And even if you like don't watch the stream all the time, you can still understand the bits. Like that's what I want my streams to be like. Like I want you to enjoy it in the moment and also have enough like talking and commentary to where the people watching the stream afterwards, not during the live, will still like have good content. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even pay attention to the game you're playing. Um, valid. My gameplay isn't that good anyway. You know, I'm a personality streamer over everything. 
I don't think many people, like, watch, stream as, like, first monitor content anyway. Like, half the time- I know for me, myself, like, I'll just put a stream on in the background. The only time I'll sit down and watch a stream is if they're, like, if it's a game I really like, or if it's, like, a competition or something. Wait, is it faster to go in the top half? Everybody goes up there. But you know what I should do? I should just pre-record gameplay footage and just stream that. <laughs> I've gotten accused of that a few times though, like in TikTok comments or YouTube short comments. People will be like, AI generated, is this your own gameplay? I'm like, yeah. Whenever I get those comments, I'm just like, why would I repost clips of me playing the game bad? Like, why would I choose that type of gameplay to repost? Like, if I just recorded, like, me speaking offline, and then just added gameplay after, like, the Subway Surfers videos, I would put, like, crack, crack like, Valorant gameplay, because everybody likes Valorant. Or I would put Suica game. Because Suica game is, Suica game is so much fun to watch. It's also really fun to play. I only played it once after I played it on stream. And it was just like for a minute. Because I was showing my friend the game. And then I got bored because I didn't get a speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'd like to see Mario Kart is a really difficult game because everybody who plays now is kind of a sweat. Since the game has been out for so long. Dude, I bet whenever we get Mario Kart 9, the lobbies are gonna be so bad. They're gonna be so bad. Oh, she's so sad. Guys, we're 30 minutes into stream, or another 30 in. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to tap in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Am I gonna play the Eastward DLC? Is it out? I've been waiting. I will play it when it's out. Eastward DLC. No? Oh. I'm looking at the eShop. It's loading. It still says releases winter 23. That's so... Wait, so that means we have one whole month. They have to do it, right? They wouldn't scam. What's that? Um, Eastward is a story pixel RPG. It's one of my favorite games of all time. If you haven't played it, I think you should experience it. And the DLC that's coming out is like just a, a farming sim. It's really good. I'm literally gonna get first. No joke. I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna try hard. I need to win for the believers. Okay, that was horrible. No, oh, no more talking. this bit it's so dumb it never works out for me Now I'm actually throwing for fun. This is for content.
At least it's not double digits. Don't worry, I'll get a win. Don't worry. I think I'll play for another 30 minutes because my headache has gotten worse, unfortunately. See the me with the kissy lips? Should I add that to mine? I have never taken a I've never taken a duck lip selfie. I'd be too embarrassed to. someone who would no whenever i take a selfie i'm just like i i always default to a peace sign that's always my go-to i think it's because when i was in middle school and high school that's when like the duck selfie was really in and i was such a big hipster when i was that age I just hated anything mainstream. It explains why I'm such a hater now, honestly. Oh wait, the second place? Cool. Screw you. Haha, <laughs> red shell and blue shell. Tee hee. Ain't no way, first place, cool. Stream ends when I get first. Okay, there. Haha, <laughs> they got too close! Nice try! I'm not going for the smallest path, it's not worth it. Okay, they're too far behind. Really? Come on! I'm in first place. Dude. How many subs for another Fortnite stream? I mean, looking at my sub count, I should probably farm, huh? I don't like Fortnite, though. I would, like, hate it. Didn't we do Fortnite in December last year? Hmm. Now, let's be realistic. A thousand. You know, I want to get something nice for New Year's. A thousand subs for a Fortnite stream. <laughs> Wait, we should do... I should do Fortnite with the viewers? We, we would do the stream whenever I'd have a higher average viewer count. Fortnite with viewers, but if we don't get a victory royale, you get banned permanently. Because then, people who would join my lobby would be incentivized... Or join my... Team? Squad, squad. If you join the squad, you'd like, have to try hard. And carry for me.
best idea, to be honest. I feel like that'd be really fun. But, like, if I did that stream now, like, play Fortnite, and if we lose, you get banned, it would ban all my viewers. I don't- I don't have enough to have any, like, survivors. Like, everybody would get banned after, like, three rounds. <laughs> okay, watch this. Oh my god, saved. Everybody's good at that rapids part, honestly. Okay, I saw someone go to the, like the far left here. Okay, that's a bit easier, but you don't get as many boos, so you kind of lose time a bit. Wait, third place? Hold! Believers! I'm gonna hold this till the end. try. Why is first getting so many bob -ums? Wait, 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 come on! Oh, so close! They were just too far ahead, and they had a red, so even if I passed them sooner, they would hit me. Damn, that was good. Surely I'll win the next one. Don't be peace I too Ling my second place. I I never get top three. <laughs> Besides like the Neo Bowser City. I will literally win. Everybody is so bad at Bowser City, but I'm cramped. I'm out of water. Don't worry, my pants are waterproof, so the three drops that did spill out, I'm fine. Damn. Why is everybody hating on Bowser City? They just know I'm too good. computer chair for about two years now and only recently did the leather start falling off so it's just like this gross adhesive on um, specifically the left armrest because I lean on my left elbow a lot and I was debating if I wanted to get another chair right I was like oh it's gonna be a couple hundred I'm gonna have to drop it never occurred to me that I could just buy a seat cover you know we weren't a seat cover household in the car we just we just like sat in the car. I'm not saying the joke. Never mind. Editor, trim that out, please. <laughs> you know, we never use seat covers. So I was telling my sister the other day I used a black chair and I put a white cloth over it. That way, because the problem is, since I have dark hair, if I have a black chair, you want to be able to see my glorious hair, my luscious locks. So 
so I was begging my sister to let me paint her black chair white so I could use it. And she's like, no. I don't want a white chair. And I was like, valid, but I want to see my hair on camera. And then I looked up leather paint and it was expensive. So I was like, wait, I can just get a freaking chair cover. I don't know. I just like to make things more complicated than they, than they need to be, I guess. So next Twitch payout, I'm going to get a seat cover. And it's going to be white. Your Pikachu fell? No, it did not. I haven't put Pikachu on my chair in forever. She's on my couch. Because for Christmas, my sister got me two Pokemon plushies. So I have like a mini couch in my room. It was the couch I used for stream years ago. So I'm now I'm going to have a couch full of plushies. Okay, I don't think the mushroom helped me go faster there. Okay, hold fourth place. Maybe I can do this. Wait! I would not have gotten top here, that's too far away. Damn it! Guys, don't worry, I can do it. A hobby that I want to get into is refurbishing furniture, but I think that is gonna be the most expensive hobby you can get into, <laughs> besides streaming. Because buying like the furniture itself, gotta be a couple hundred, maybe secondhand. Yeah, it'll be cheaper, but who's who's gonna buy it? Like I feel like not many people want to get used things anymore. I also think there's like no shame in getting used furniture. The only thing that I wouldn't buy used is something that has a cushion. I, I would be too grossed out. I've seen too many like reddit stories of people getting like mites or like other bugs from like a second eye couch. forever. This is mirrored, isn't it? No, it's not. Wait, it is. Is it? No, it this what? This is normal. What? I haven't played this one in so long I forgot all the lines. Three red shells with the bug. Frick. What's my favorite city trap? Can I be honest? I don't think I can even name a city track off the top of my head. The only one I remember is the one with the tulips, the one in Holland. I don't I don't I have legit have no idea what it's called. It's because I'm such an avid hater of the city tracks. Ninth place, dude. I ha I literally had third. Amsterdam drift. Yes, that's the one. I think because it's just pretty. 
I do like the, the Spain one. The one that came out of the most recent DLC, because the drastic terrain changes I think are very nice. I think that's another reason why I like the Amsterdam Drift one too, because it went underwater in the city and then like in the fields. I don't like the ones that are like this where it's just like just static city environments. It's not interesting. Dude, eighth place again. What if for tomorrow, for the majority of the races we did, if you get last, you get banned. And then for like the last one, for someone to get like a weak timeout, is if you get first or second, you get banned. Because like obviously, if everybody's trying to win, then that's fun and all. But if you can't get second, ooh, that'll make people angry. I think I got time for like two more. And then I'm gonna rest today. I'm also almost done with the Mario Party speedrun edit. I did all the trimming. I'm debating if I wanna do zooms. Cause it's gonna be like a 40 minute video. And I, I legitimately don't want to go back and add zooms. I don't wanna. That's why, like, if I ever can afford an editor, I think I would still want to do, like, trimming. I would just want somebody to do After Effects. Because I do think trimming is one of the most tedious parts. But I like it because then I can choose what's kept in or not. And then I can, like help with timing and pacing. the Twitch Discovery tab as much anymore. I used to go through the art tag and then the Mario Kart tag, and then just chat in random streams. The main reason why I don't do that anymore, I I don't remember this creator at all, but they were, they had like two viewers, so I was like, okay, I'll chat for a race, and they were like actually pretty good, like they got like first like a lot of times in a row doing online, so I was like, oh my god, they're cracked. And then, as I was leaving the stream, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, bye! And this person, they were like, peace in. Because I had already left, so they assumed that I was gone. They were like, peace in. Because it kind of sounds like pissing. That's pretty funny, huh? Haha. <laughs> and I, I felt so embarrassed, because like, nobody, nobody had ever read my username like that. Guys, do not start, please. But I felt so embarrassed, and like, after that single day, I stopped going into random streams. I don't know. I don't like getting one-on-one -on -one attention from new streamers, I think. It's also because there's like this weird pressure to chat, especially during a smaller stream because for the most part, the streamer will want the chat for their commentary, which I try my best to not do. Yes, there are streams where a lot of what I say is just banter off the chat, but I, I try to come up with things to talk about whenever I play Mario Kart specifically. Because this is a game that I can kind of like veg out and just talk normally. And do decent at. <laughs> Besides that. Anyway, so that's why I don't go into random streams anymore. Ninth place, baby. I'll do one more for the fans. Um, you're using me for commentary? Yeah, I'm using you for clout. At least I'm being honest. I would never lie. Moomo Meadows, I literally will win.
But you know what I would say in rebuttal? I think you're using me for entertainment, so I think you're also exploiting me, hacker. Um, actually. <laughs> Dude, if I don't get burst today, I'm gonna cry. I'll cry live on stream. I'll get my crocodile tears out. I have a story about crying in public. I think I've told it on stream before. I know that crying is a strat to like get what you want, and I've only tried it one time. Not intentionally, it was kind of an accident. So what happened was, I was trying to get food stamps a while back, because I wasn't eligible for disability at the time, so I was like, okay, I'll try and get food stamps. How food stamps work in Washington State, it's income based, and it's also based on if you have like a, a child under your name, like a guardianship, or if you're like buying food for anybody in your household or yourself. So I went to the DSHS office, like ready to apply for food stamps, and I had most of the information, but I didn't have like the, some of the personal information for my roommates, and the guy was like, oh, do you have this information? I was like, no. He was like, well, do you have the information for the other person? I was like, no, I didn't know I needed it. Because, like, they will tell you what, need to, what you need to bring to your appointment, but they didn't tell me I needed certain things. It was stupid. So he was like, well, can you call them? And I was like, oh, they're both at work. And every time this guy was, like, telling me I did something wrong, he would roll his eyes. Like, he was wearing a mask, but he was, like, very visibly, like, annoyed with me. And... Normally the office is very loud because there's like 20 people talking so it's pretty loud in the room and at this point like I was getting overwhelmed because this guy was like not helping me like he was being very rude to me so I started crying and it was obviously embarrassing I did not cry on purpose I was not doing white woman tears like I was anxious I was upset I was overwhelmed and like the whole room went silent and I was still talking to this guy for like 10 minutes and I'm like crying the whole time because he's like, well, I can't help you. And I'm like, I know, but like, what else can I do? And he's like, there's nothing I can do. I was like, okay, well, what can I do to get ready for next time? Dude, it was so bad. I haven't cried in public since. Anyway, guys, I lost. You know who else is going to take an L? The non-subs. Because guys, we are two hours in a stream. I'll do one more race if you want to not miss the race. If you want to see it subscribe for 4.99 just five dollars give your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link your amazon prime to your twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available also gentle reminder if you want a custom portrait sketch card drawn on stream all you must do is gift five subs by tomorrow surely i'll win <laughs> sorry i just saw your message hacker um, you're choosing this stream publicly, so... What if this was a private stream for just my viewers? I don't want anybody else to watch. Private stream. No, that would be like a Patreon stream, huh? I do really like how Twitch has the new function to where if you ban a viewer, you can ban them from watching the actual stream. Because that wasn't a function for ages. So now, if anybody misbehaves, and you get banned, you can't watch the stream. And if you make an alt, I'll find your alt. Because Twitch also added functions to where it can track if people have like an account that uses the same contact information. So none of you guys try me. I'll catch you. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna get first. <laughs> I was gonna say, nobody goes for that path. And I got one coin. I 
need to get high enough rank so I can get regular 200cc matches. I know 200cc online is really difficult, but I'm like somewhat decent at it. Because whenever I play offline, I practice at 200, never 150, because 150 is too slow. I wonder what rank you have to be to get 200cc regularly. Like, I know I'm like far from peak. <laughs> I'm only, what, 7,500? And there's some bozos with like 90,000. That to me is insane. rarely comes up no matter what rank you are really that's a bummer like i think if i had 200 cc for like 80 percent of my matches i'd perform a lot better and i'm not even capping dude what happened they reduced it in wave four and six bro i need my uncle at nintendo to do something about that too shabby it's not good enough should i do one more type one should i do more i'll do i'll do one more maybe these are all bad though i don't like these Dolphin Shoals, because I like the music. I just want to win for the Believers. There's 9k in doubt. I feel bad. But you know what? The Believers have been eating good the past few Mario Kart streams. They gotta pay their fair share. this track but I'm not good if I get first place everybody has to sub with prime that's the only stipulation and if I don't get first nothing happens That was like for like half a second. Oh wait, that line is- I literally never go down the left path and that was so much easier. The line near the ship is difficult? Not the left path, I always go for the right, but that was so easy. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn it, I thought they were going straight. That would have been wicked. What am I doing? Okay, I didn't lose too much there. Like, the way she said it wavered when she got hit by the shell. I'm in last place.
Yeah, the left path is so much easier. Oh my god. I've literally only been going right for the past five years. Guess I can't say right is right anymore. <laughs> okay, wait, it's getting crazy. Sixth place, fifth, fourth. I'm ending stream. Will I get first at all? No. I'm sorry. I genuinely tried. I tried so hard. To lose it all. I did get like top three a good handful of times though. Okay guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. I have something to do at 2 o'clock. So we gotta make calligraphy quick. No stalling. Um, tomorrow I will be streaming at probably like 12 or 1-ish PSD, so like an hour or two after my normal time. We're going to be doing Mario Kart with everybody, subscriber or not. It's free for everybody. If you get last, you get banned tomorrow. Indefinitely. <laughs> okay, so look forward to that tomorrow, guys. And then Friday we're decorating the Christmas tree because it, it'll be December. Right now, we're going to do calligraphy because we got some gifted subs and a resub today. So if you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe or use your channel points. Gentle reminder, the final day of November is tomorrow. So if you want a chance to get VIP for the best clipper or get a sketch card, gift five subs. Let's do... Should we do Mario Kart music? No, Mario Wonder. Sorry, that was almost really loud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saved you guys. He won the prediction for once. I'm sorry, believers. Wait, there's no November 31st? No. Dude, did you not learn the knuckle trick? It's every knuckle is a 31st. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. November is an inner knuckle. There's only 30 days, bro. While I'm getting the camera set up, guys, gentle reminder, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. On Saturdays, I upload stream highlights, and then on the Clips channel, I upload daily shorts and clips. Go subscribe. It's free to subscribe there. You've never heard the knuckle trick? What is wrong with you guys? I learned that in, like, third grade. Maybe... Maybe it's like a West Coast thing. I've also heard people do the same tip on their toes, but that's like, weird. Anyway, calligraphy! I'm West Coast, though? I don't know. I was just spitballing ideas. Oh, also, what do you guys want to see for Christmas streams? I have a list made. Do you guys have any other ideas? The Christmas quiz will be ready on Monday next week. 
because I will be doing the naughty or nice quiz again and then some of the quiz contents will relate to like future streams for December. What streams do you guys want to see for holiday? Once again, thank you, Keelan, for the one gifted to the chat. I appreciate it. Mario 64 snow levels? Oh, wait, that's actually really fun. Like, only playing snow, snow levels in games? Wait, I actually really like that. Because I didn't have any Christmas gaming streams. I like that a lot. Do a Grinch one where you steal presents. Okay, how, how would I do that, though? Do I just go to an... I would never do this. But you know how they have those donation bins for like toys for tots? And like people put like Barbies and Legos in? I'm not saying I would do this, but a really insane YouTube prank video would be stealing the toys for tot bins. But then also going back and like donating like twice as many toys that you stole. I would never do that. And I would never advocate for that idea. But that that is like what I imagine like a 2015 YouTuber would do. Of course, I'm talking about this during the Bowser music. Fitting. But, like, wouldn't that be, like, so mean? <laughs> Moving on, I'm gonna move on. Nobody clip it, please. Water Watchers, no clipping. Don't say too late. You know, I can see who makes the clips. Legitimately? Thankfully, I've had nobody clip my ass. But I will know if somebody does. Once again, thank you for the 19-month resub. That's insane. Thank you. I appreciate your continued support. And a tier one. We love tier ones. Am I going to leave cookies out for Santa? No, because Santa... Everybody, if you're under 13... Wait, no, you're not. No, I'm kidding. If you are under 18, mute the stream. Santa's not real. I'm sorry. But that could be a fun stream idea, leaving cookies out for Santa. Like, just making cookies. Thank you for redeeming Angie. I'll do you in a minute. We have one more Orlin name. Oh, I have a cookie stream, maybe. So, leaving cookies out for Santa. I saw a few videos last holiday of like people leaving out goodie bags for like delivery men. Like just leaving like a like a basket or a container outside on their front porch 
with like a little basket of goodies. I've thought about doing that. Maybe. If it's in the budget, I might do that. Like make little goodie bags. I think that'd be cute. I remember, I obviously can't do this now because I don't have a house. I live in a, a apartment or duplex. Um, I remember there was this one house in my hometown that had like a cabinet just filled with like non-perishable goods and foods. That way people around town could grab it. Or like if somebody didn't have the ideal circumstances, they could grab some food. And I thought that was, like, a really sweet thing to do. So if I ever have a house, I might do that. I don't know. You could do a shopping stream and then window shop to see what you think would be good Christmas gifts. I thought about doing that, but I'm too scared about DOXing myself. <laughs> I'm, like, too scared. Like, I, I could do, like, incognito, but I I'd be too scared. You know, I cannot afford to leak. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angie, that I had to tell you, but Santa's not real. I'm sorry. Also, the Easter Bunny is not real or the Tooth Fairy. Both were your parents. For some reason... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not finishing the bit. I'm not finishing it. I always knew Santa was my parents. My dad used to dress up in a Santa suit and then we would take pictures with Santa. It was actually- dude, I was so dumb as a kid. I've told the story a couple of times, but I'll tell it again for the fans. Um, every year, like, the local fire department would have Santa dressed up on his fire truck, and then they drive around the residential areas and, like, hand out candy and, and then candy canes to people. So, whenever the fire truck would pass by our house, for some reason, like, Santa would come inside our house and take pictures with me and my sister. They did this up until we were, like, ten. And so we'd be like, oh my god, Santa from the fire truck, that's so wicked, that's so cool. And I was clueless. I didn't realize it was my dad. Because that would be, like, our holiday card pictures, like, us pictures with Santa, but it was my dad. And I remember finding pictures of it, like, a few years ago and being like, oh my god. That's my fucking dad, <laughs> not Santa. <laughs> Dude, I was so naive as a kid. Oh my god. Once again, thank you, Kobobo, for the gifted sub to chat. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna do brokies. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Aqua Marie. This is one of my favorite colors in my set.
We have one more name left, everybody. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is donate to the channel, subscribe, or use your channel points. Okay, I think we can wrap it up here for today. Thank you to any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. I love Mario Kart. It's so much fun. Anyway, I will be live again tomorrow, probably at noon. Or like 1-ish PST. With Mario Kart with viewers. If you get lost, you get banned. It'll be open for everybody, so if you want to play with us, make sure you're watching tomorrow. And you have to tap in chat to get the code. So if you're a first time lurker, um, just chat and you can play tomorrow. And then Friday decorating the tree. Thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you to Keelan, Hacker, and Kobobo for helping support the channel today. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be live again tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Before I leave though, if you want more peace and underscore 17 content, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have a main channel with weekly stream highlights and then a clips channel for daily YouTube shorts and clips. And if you want more, follow my Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. They're all very cool and pog. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye, Angie. Thank you for hanging out today. Yeah, nobody's live. No raid. Wait, this music is scary. Okay, bye guys. Bye!